Hi everyone, welcome to this new series that we are doing. My name is Prince Sulfaro Makaya and this is... I am Chipo Makaya. She's my wife. And Thank we've been married much. for uh, 28 years. <laughs> Prince. Yes, 28 years. Uh, this August. Right? It, well done. Thank you. It took me 28 years. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying this uh, series out where we want to share a bit of our experience as a married couple. Hopefully, whatever we've learned in these past 28 years will help someone out there. Right. Uh, because marriage is fun, but it's a lot of work. So this first, first series, we're going to look at what marriage is. According to the Nelson New Illustration Dictionary, marriage is a union between a male and a female. Okay. And just to expand on that, it says it's a union of a man and a woman that they go into voluntarily to the exclusion of everyone else. So that's very important in terms of the definition and we want to just trace the history of marriage from the Bible, starting in the Old Testament. But as we explore different aspects of uh, marriage in this series, we're going to be covering a lot of different things. So just to start off with, we start off in Exodus. <laughs> I think it means Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I said was... I was misquoted. <laughs> Take that again. We start off in Genesis. <laughs> you know what Genesis is, right? Okay, go. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, God created Adam and Eve and he made them in his own image. If you notice in this verse, by choice, God created two different individuals. But as we read from the scripture, the first to be created was Adam. And then at some point, God realized Adam is lonely, he needs a helper, and that's when Eve was created, that's when the woman was created, and that's when all the problems started. But we are such a blessing to our spouses, they can't do without us. <laughs> this was in Genesis chapter 2 from verse 20 to 25 where God created Eve for Adam because there was no suitable helper for him and Adam was very excited to have Eve around and as we read in the Bible um, in his excitement, Adam said, now this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. So this is what we're going to be looking at. Uh, the creation of Adam and Eve and that relationship that endures up to today with its uh, sweetness but also with its bitterness. So we're going to be looking at this commitment and one of the things that we've, we've seen and we've been told um, about marriage is that the divorce rate amongst Christians is the same as amongst any other couple and this seems shocking but as we explore this commitment as we explore this relationship you'll find that we as Christians are just people like any other and are subject to the same same problems the same uh, issues that any other couple will face and so as you join us on this journey whether you're a Christian or a non-Christian, you'll find help in our experiences and also even in the scriptures, even if you're a non-Christian. In the Bible, it talks about uh, two people who built their house. One built it on the sand and one built it on the rock. Both of these houses, they experienced wind. They experienced floods. But what helped the house to stand, the one that was on the rock, was being in Christ. So hopefully we'll be able to help someone out there build their relationship on Christ, build their relationship on a solid foundation. So join us on this journey as we uh, explore. All right. See you next time.
All right, this is not a children's program. <laughs> In 2016, I wrote this book, Praying for Your Spouse. Uh, we would like to give away some copies as we go through this series. So we'll be having uh, some questions or something that you can comment on and you'll be able to get a copy. I've not written mine yet, but it's going to be called Praying for Your Spouse 2. <laughs> <laughs>